Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today in all fours. So make your way into an all fours position where your hands in line with your shoulders and your knees in line with your hips. So we're gonna relax through the hips, so maybe shake your tail from side to side. Move through the shoulders, maybe shift the body weight from side to side, just loosening up through your wrists, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your elbows. And then we're gonna inhale, send that body weight back. Pressing down with the ar armpits towards your thighs or the mat. Tuck the chin in and then exhale. Shift the body weight forward. Looking forward as you do, go a little further forward to feel a stretch in the wrist. Breathing in through the nose if you can. The body weight goes back. Tuck the chin in. And then looking ahead as you send that weight forward. Going a little further forward. Then the wrist. Feel the stretch in the wrist. One last time. Breathing in. Tuck the chin in. Press the armpits down. And breathing out, going a little further forward, then the wrists, feel a stretch. And then slowly return to center. From here, we're gonna inhale, bend the elbows out to either side, press the base of the thumbs into the floor and exhale, push into those hands. Inhale, reach the hips back, reach back with the right arm, look and follow as you circle all the way back to the start. Doing the same thing again, we're bending the elbows and then exhaling, pushing up. Left arm sweeps back, looking back as you circle all the way back to the start. One more round of that. So breathing in, bend the elbows. Exhale, push up strong. Inhale, right arm sweeps back. And we circle around, hand finds the floor. Breathe in, bend the elbows. And exhale, push up strong. Inhale, sweeping the left arm back. Circling all the way around and back to the start. Hands coming a little wider now. Slide those knees back. Breathe in, reach the hips back, press the armpits down, add a little bounce here. Feeling the stretch in the chest, that armpit region, and in the spine. One more inhale here, and exhale, tip and send the body weight forward. Finding that posterior pelvic tilt. Breathe in, bend the elbows and lower the chest to the floor. Release the arms or the forearms to the mat, point through those toes. We inhale, lift everything up, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage. Exhale, lower everything back down. Breathing in, lifting and squeeze the elbows in. And exhale, release down. Two more just like this, breathing in. Squeeze the elbows in, finding length in that spine. And breathe out lower. Last time, we lift and hold. So inhale, lift and hold. Exhale, reach the arms forward, tap the thumbs and then squeeze the elbows in. Reach the arms forward, tap the thumbs and squeeze those elbows in. Reaching forward, keep the length in the neck throughout so you're not looking forward this time. Squeeze the elbows in, just two more like this, trying to keep the legs up at the same time. And one last time, reaching forward, squeeze the elbows in. Release the body to the floor. <laughs> Release the body to the floor. Stack the forearms or the hands and rest the forehead down. Bending those knees and just wagging your tail from side to side. Feeling a gentle massage on the thighs. And then from here, slide those forearms back to that outer edge of the mat position. Tuck the chin in. Legs are a little wider than hip width apart here. We're gonna inhale, float the right arm and the left leg up. Keep the left hip bone on the floor and then lower it down. Breathing in, left arm, right leg lifts up and then release it back down. Breathing in the right arm and the left leg lifts. And then we release down slowly and then the left arm and the right leg lifts up and then lower it back down. Breathing in, right arm lifts, left leg lifts, and then lower it down, the left arm and the right leg lifts. And then we release with control. Breathing in the right arm and the left leg, and then lower, and then the left arm and the right leg, lower down. So a form of swimming. If you feel it's too much to lift the chest with you, just focus on lifting the arm and the leg. So that you're not getting that extension or deep extension in the spine. You're keeping the length in the neck and working on your shoulder and hip mobility. Floating up and lowering. One last set, breathe in. Lift and lower it down and inhale, left arm, right leg lifts and lower it down. Hands come to the lower part of your back for double leg kick. So elbows relax, two legs together, breathe in, kick twice. Breathe out, stretch and find length. 
Breathe in, kick twice again. And breathe out, stretch and find length. Breathe in, kick, kick. Exhale, extend it out. Trying to get those knees as high as possible. And then lift and find length. Breathe in, kick twice. Breathe out, stretch it all out. And breathe in, kick twice again. And breathe out, extend. Last two. Stretch it out. And one more time, we're gonna hold that long position and then kick with the legs up, down from the hips as fast as you can. Keep that breath going in through the nose, out through the mouth. The chest is open, the shoulder blades are back and down. Everything is strong and switched on. Last two breath cycles, one more, and then lower everything down. Hands come in underneath the shoulders. Take a deep breath in here and exhale, push yourself up. Reach the hips back, take a breath in here, and then exhale, transition and ripple into your half plank position. Breathe in, we bend the elbows and lower the chest all the way to the floor. Point the toes, breathe in, lift up into an extension, drop the elbows. Exhale, lower the chest to the floor. Breathe in, push into those hands and straight back, reach those hips back. Press the armpits down, exhale, ripple it forward into your half plank position. Breathe in. We lower the chest to the floor and then we lift it up, finding that lovely length. Lower it down, the chest coming to the floor, moving a little faster now. Push into those hands, reach the hips back, press the armpits down, feel the length. Exhale, tip and ripple forward into your half plank position. We bend the elbows down to the mat and then we lift it up, chest coming up. One more round of this, so lower the chest down. Push into the hands, lift those hips up and reach the hips back, press the armpits down. We ripple it forward, posterior pelvic tilt. Bend the elbows, lower the chest with control. Lift up, feel that lovely extension in the spine. Lower down to the mat, reach the hips up and reach the hips back. From here, we sweep those hands in and flip over onto your bum. So hands to your shins, finding that rolling back position, tuck the chin in, inhale, roll back, exhale, bring it up. So doing the opposite, straight away of extension, flexion of the spine, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, roll back and exhale, bring it up. Breathe in, roll and breathe out, bring it up. Last three, breathe in and breathe out. Two more. Inhale, roll back, exhale, bring it up. And one last time, breathe in and breathe out. Release the feet, roll down onto the mat. Resting those arms a little wide from the body with the palms facing up. Feet and knees are hip width apart, breathe in, press the lower back to the floor. Breathe out, just release. So that posterior pelvic tilt and then an anterior pelvic tilt. So press the lower back down, so much so that it feels like you want to push into the feet and lift the bum. Then release that lower back, coming up onto the tailbone. Feel the head being pulled towards the midline, creating a gap or bridge-like shape underneath the lower back and the mat. One more time, breathe in, press the lower back down. And then releasing into that anterior pelvic tilt. Flip the palms to the floor now. Going a little further, breathing in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push and peel back up into your extension. So shoulder bridge position, a little different. Deep breath in here, squeeze through the glutes. Breathe out, release the spine down, drawing the belly button in to allow the spine come down vertebrae by vertebrae, allowing your pelvis find its natural shape at the very end. Breathe in, press the lower back down and breathe out, push with the feet and lift those hips up nice and high. Inhale at the top, press down with those arms, and then exhale, release the spine down slowly. Controlled, relax the hips into their natural shape. One last time like this, breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet, lift those hips up. Inhale at the top, squeeze through the glutes, and breathe out, release the spine down. Slowly, controlled, relaxing the hips into their natural shape. From here, press that lower back down. So create that tightness or that tight feeling in that mid, mid waist area between the hips and the, and the rib cage. We lift the right leg into tabletop on the inhale. Exhale, we lower it back down to the floor. The left leg comes up. So 
like you're marching on your back. That flexion is coming from the hip joint and it's a gentle exercise for those lower abdomen or for the lower tummy muscles, I should say, or that lower abdomen region. And release it back down. Breathing in as we lift up. The movement's coming from the hip, not from the knee. And then lower it down. One last time on the left side, lift up. And then lower it down. So we're gonna lift that right leg up and keep it there. Lift the left leg up to join and keep it there too. Glue that lower back to the floor. And the next exhale, extend your right leg towards a high light switch and then bend the knee back in. Extend the left leg towards a high light switch and bend the knee in. So breathing out as we stretch and then inhale as we bend. Breathe out, extend and inhale, bend. Keep that lower back glued to the floor. And then imagine you're sending your foot through something resistant, like treacle or honey. Extend and lengthen, and then bend back in. Left leg extend, fighting to keep that long straight spine, softness in the face. One last set like this. And then the left leg stretches and bends in. Into toe tap, so tapping the right toes to the floor, lifting them up tapping the left toes and lifting them up. So again, that movement's coming from the hip. It's not coming from the knee. Your chin is tucked. And if you feel it's too much, don't go down as far. So keeping that core switched on and keep breathing. Really keeping that lower back on the mat. Feeling the tummy muscles working hard and working through those hip flexor muscles. Tapping and lifting tapping and lifting, keeping it going. See if you can speed the movement up, continue with the correct form of the right angle in the leg, flexion and extension of the hips. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Last couple here, one more time and release. Hug the knees into the chest, lift the head up now and just gently rock from side to side. And then lower the head to the mat. Extend the two legs up towards the ceiling, flex the feet, widen the legs hip width apart and start circling through those ankles. Now change direction of the circle. Two hands find the back of the right leg, drop that right, or drop the left leg to hover off the floor. Pressing up with that right heel, pressing down and away with the left heel. Holding the stretch, feeling it and breathing into it. One more breath here. Now, the left leg comes up and it goes behind the right leg. See if you can entwine the fingers to the back of the left leg now. Keep those feet flexed. Press the lower back into the floor. Holding the stretch, pulling with the hands, and then adding to it. Arms come to the mat, we peel the lower back up, and then we release it down. If this is too much, you bend those knees and you can stick with an easier version of a reverse curl. So that left leg is really pulling or pushing even the right leg up, peeling up and then lowering down. Last three here, lower down. Two more and release one last time, peel up and lower down, uncross. Two hands to the back of the left leg. Now drop that right leg to hover off the floor. Push up with that left heel. Push away with the right heel. Feel that deep, deep stretch here. Breathe into it. Keep the length in the neck. And then allow that right leg to come behind the left leg. Two hands entwined to the back of the right leg. Squeeze the legs together. Press the lower back into the floor. Feel the stretch. Hold it here. And then releasing the arms, so the arms down by your side again, reverse curl in this way. We peel the lower back up and then we release it down. We lift it up and lower it down. Peel and lift and lower down. Feel those lower tummy muscles being blasted. The right leg kind of pushes that left leg up, taking the weight on with the lower tummy muscles on the right side. Three to go. Peel and release, two more, peel 
and release. Last one, lift it up and lower it down. Uncross the legs, bend the knees in and just gently rock from side to side here, allowing the head to turn from right to left. And then place those hands to the back of the legs, deep breath in, exhale, we rock up into a seated position. Feet on the floor here, place the hands behind the hips, so you can softly bend those elbows, spread the fingers. We're gonna inhale, bend the elbows back, exhale, push up strong. Breathe in, bend the elbows back, and exhale, push up strong. Two more just like this, getting the rhythm of that bend and extension. And last one, okay. Two legs lift up, we bend and extend those legs. And then we bend the knees, straighten through those arms. So extend the legs and push up. Extend and push up. Breathe in, breathe out, those knees come in. Keep the legs in a wide angle as you draw the knees in. We got four to go, extend and push up. Extend, dropping off those sit bones and push up. Two more, extend and push up, last one, extend and push up. Widen the feet, knees and feet hip width apart, just turn the fingers out to either side, add a gentle bounce from right to left again. Getting into those wrists and the hips and then we lift the hips up, squeeze through the glutes, lower the hips back down. Three more just like this, lift it up and lower it back down, two more and lower, and then one last time, lift up, and lower it down. Draw the knees into the chest, roll it back, and then allow your body to find a shape that feels nice for you, it doesn't matter what it is. Just allowing the body to rest on the mat, the head to feel heavy, the arms and the legs to feel heavy, the body to let go. Becoming more aware of the breath, Allowing that breath to enter freely through the nose or the mouth. Travel all the way down into the lower belly. And on the exhale, see if you can let go that bit more. Allowing everything to slow down. The mind, the muscles. Allowing yourself to release and let go on every level. Now wriggling through the fingers and the toes, gently allowing your head to, to move from side to side, allowing the body to wake up bit by bit. Sliding your feet in if your legs are long and just join the knees and the feet together in the center. 
Allow the knees fall to your right and turn your head to your left. Take a deep breath into the left side, feel that twist. Slowly return back to the middle, knees going to the left and turning your head to the right. Feeling a stretch on the right side. And then slowly, carefully making your way back to the middle again. Knees coming into the chest, taking a few moments here to hug the knees in and rock from side to side, allowing the head to join in as well, massaging the back of the head and the entire back on the mat. Releasing the hands, slipping your hands to the backs of the legs, hug the knees in, deep breath in and breathe out, rock up into a seated position. Well done everybody, thank you so much for joining me, I'll see you next time.